Hi class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're looking at some subtraction facts. Today we're going to be looking at our double plus one subtraction facts. Let's go over them quickly. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. 11 minus 5 is 6. And 11 minus 6 is 5. Did you notice a little pattern with some of those? I hope so. We're going to take a look at them on the board. Let's take a look. Class, I'd like for you to take a look at the questions that are on the board. Do you recognize the first two addition problems? They are our doubles plus one facts. We know that two plus two is four, but what is two plus three? You're right, it is five. Well, this is really just the same question. Here we have two plus three, and this is three plus two. It would also be five, that is correct. So we know that if we have five, like five triangles, and if we kind of break that number apart and say that it is really three plus two or two plus three, we should be able to figure out our double plus one subtraction facts as well. If we have five and we take two away. Our answer is three. If we have five but we take three away, we have two. These are all fact families. When we learn our fact families, it makes it so much easier to do our subtraction and our addition. Let's look at a few more of these types of questions. Class, I have four more questions on the board. Do you recognize the first two addition problems? You're right. They are our double plus one facts. If we have three plus three, we know our answer is six. But four is just one more than that. So instead of three plus three being six, it's three plus four is seven. This is really the same question. We've just put the numbers in a different order. Four plus three equals seven, but three plus four equals seven as well. I'm gonna show you some shapes again. Here we have three triangles and four triangles. Three plus four is seven. Let's just count it to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see if they'll help us as we subtract. We have seven and we're going to take three away. I bet you you already know what the answer is. But let's just use our triangles. If I take three away, how many are left? You're right, it is four. And what if we take four away from seven? Let's take them away. They're gone. How many do we have left? Three. All of these questions work together. They have similarities between them. And when we remember our double plus one addition facts, we can learn our double plus one subtraction facts as well. We're gonna take a minute just to review our facts. I know that you're gonna do a wonderful job learning these. Let's practice. Are you ready? Let's try them. Five take away two is three. Five take away three is two. Seven subtracting three is four. Seven subtracting four is three. Nine minus four is five. Nine minus five is four. Eleven subtracting five is six. I missed one, let's go back. And 11 minus six is five. I know that you're gonna do a great job with these class. Have fun practicing. Bye-bye.